Well, welcome back to this product demo for the Easy Life GCU meter. In this video, we're going to run you through the procedure for performing your first test. Now, when you get the meter, you'll be supplied with some uh, sample test strips that we've run you through. Yeah, when you first open these packets, and we wouldn't recommend opening these until you are ready to run your first test because you want to keep these dry, but inside will be a code chip supplied specifically for each set of strips. And you need to transfer the calibration information on the code chip into the meter each time. And to do that, you use this port on the top of the meter and apply the code chip in the top. Now, nothing happens when you first put that code chip in. So if we then take one of our test strips and insert it into the top of the meter, you'll see the code reference displayed. And then in a couple of seconds, what will happen is the calibration's taken and you'll get that flashing display. You see the blood drop symbol. That's indicating that the meter is now waiting and ready for you to apply blood into the side port on this test strip that goes into this side port here along the white line on the test strip. And that is now ready for me to apply a blood sample into this meter. So you're now ready to do that. A little bit of information guide for you. Because this takes three different types of test strips, I, we're often asked, is it necessary to have the corresponding code chip for the right test inserted into the meter? And the answer is no. Once the calibration has been applied into the meter, you are then able to run a test without the code chip in. But it is necessary to have that on the first time you put the code chip in so that the calibration is transferred into the electronics and stored within the meter. So, to perform a test, you now need to take one of the lancets out of the packet. These are supplied enough for you to do the test and put it into the spring-loaded auto lancer. That you push down firmly until it's into the base. And then to load the spring lancer, you just pull on the bottom thing here, this lever. And now that's ready if I just display for you. It doesn't work until the lid's put back on, but that will now be ready to trigger. You remove the sterile tip from the lancet and retain that and then apply the lid back in and you can now load the lancing device. So that's ready to lance. The setting or depth setting is adjustable here. Three, two, one is the shallowest and because cholesterol requires a good sample of blood we're going to go for five or six on this lance. So when you're ready to perform the test you need nice warm fingers. It's not an ideal day today because it's freezing in this uh, studio where I'm doing this video. But you basically prime the lancer, clean and wash your hands. Try and get them as warm as possible so they're well perfused. And then just apply the lancing device onto the finger pulp where you're going to take the sample and trigger it. And you should then be able to provide a good droplet of blood, just let it fall nicely with a little bit of gentle massage. Ideally you shouldn't have to massage at all if you used a decent lance. And then we apply it onto the side of this test strip. You'll see it running across there. And as soon as the meter detects adequate blood has been absorbed into the side channel of the test strip, it starts processing and working out the result. Now this takes quite a while for cholesterol because it's a complex calculation. It's much quicker for readings such as blood glucose. And what we're going to do now is just let that meter count down. And then once it's done that calculation, it should display. Now we've set this meter up to show in millimoles per litre. So it should show us my actual cholesterol level real time in millimoles per litre. That's working down now, just coming to the 100 countdown mark, and this will continue. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the use of control solutions with these meters, because that does confuse people when they first buy this as to whether they have to put or purchase a control solution to test the meter function. And the answer to that one simply is no. You would only have to run a control solution test if you were suspicious that the readings were not accurate for whatever reading, but all the other indicators were that the meter function was correct. For each separate batch of test strips, there are control solutions available that we make available 
through the value mode website, which allow you to run controls at standardized solution concentrations. And that basically will just let you test a meter and know that both the test strips and the meter function are working within a given parameter that the manufacturer has preset for those test strips. We're often asked again about the accuracy of these tests. A lot depends on the quality of that lance and the blood sample that you're putting into these devices. Got to remember you're using capillary samples that can be diluted or concentrated by the massaging effect of pulp when you're getting those samples out. So the more natural the blood drop forms, particularly with tests such as haemoglobin, which aren't on this meter function, but are on its, its brother, which does haemoglobin, cholesterol, and glucose, the better, to be honest, and the more they are in line with venous blood samples. So this meter is just about ready now, hopefully, to give me my cholesterol reading. Three, two, one. There we go, 5.4. Oh, I didn't manage to set this into, no, that is in millimoles, mm, millimoles, sorry, as opposed to milligrams. I did set this correctly. So that is 5.4 millimoles per liter, uh, which is my real-time blood cholesterol, which I think I'm quite pleased about. Guidance in terms of what you should be looking for, obviously it depends on whether you're on treatments, what your diet is and what your doctor's telling you, but there are the normal ranges for cholesterol. We give some guidance in the, the manufacturer's data sheet, uh, but also these are widely available online. So this is a great way of being able to monitor both the effect of diet or medication or lifestyle changes and to initially detect across a you know within a family if there is a family history of uh, high cholesterol levels as a screening tool easy to perform tests on other members of the family and find out whether they're at risk from raised cholesterol levels so there you have it nice product demo the procedure for running a glucose test or a uric acid test is exactly the same okay so there's no mystery or special procedure that has to be followed for these individual tests. The most difficult one to get great results on in this triple meter is the cholesterol because you need a good sample of blood, a good volume, and also you need a good technique for getting it out of your finger. Uh, and the other trick with this meter is knowing where to put the blood sample. Obviously we do get said, I've been putting it on the end here for hours on end and it simply isn't triggering. There's a problem with the meter. Now you're just putting it in the wrong place. The port for this blood is clearly shown on that white strip that runs across the way. Put it in at the right end and it will run and trigger every time nicely as we've demonstrated there for you.